Young women are overtaking young men. But that is not something to brag about when we're talking about lung cancer. Lung cancer is the second most prevalent cancer in women in the United States. Uh, it's also the second most prevalent cancer in men in the United States. But both in the United States and worldwide, it's actually the leading cause of cancer-related death. Sobering statistics. So, um, UCSF Dr. Johannes Kratz is a thoracic surgeon. He removes lung cancer. He talked to me between surgeries to explain recently released new research by the American Cancer Society. We know smoking rates in the U.S. have declined over the past several decades, and with it, lung cancer rates have dropped as well. But here's where things get interesting. We're uncovering more and more cases of people who have never smoked who have lung cancer, um, and they're increasingly younger, they're increasingly female. And so now I think it's starting to enter the public consciousness as the sort of health crisis that it really is. We're talking about women from around age 30 to 55. It is surprising because it goes contrary to our, our normal perception of who gets lung cancer. But then the question is why? That's a great question, and we don't quite understand that, unfortunately. But there are some clues. In addition to environmental factors, Dr. Kratz points to lung cancer rates in Asia, particularly in never smoking Asian female patients. He says there appears to be something in the genetic background that causes them to get a specific type of lung cancer. That's pretty scary. So what, what can we do? Is it early testing? How, how do you know if you should even get tested? You can always ask your provider um, if you have a significant risk factor like family history of lung cancer screening, whether they would consider ordering a screening CT scan for you, you know, that is the best we can do right now with the absence of sort of universal guidelines of who should be getting lung cancer screening CTs. So talk to your doctor, um, have a conversation, bring it up. Talk to your doctor, have a conversation, exactly. It doesn't just kill smokers anymore. I'm a dates reporting. Dr. Kratz points out the best way to help combat the number one cancer killer in the U.S. and worldwide is to be an advocate for lung cancer research.